with another banger. We're going to be talking about Shiba Inu, ticker symbol S-H-I-V-U-S-D. Now, this one is crashing to the floor. This is why I try to give you guys levels beforehand so we can anticipate these things. I had a support level at about four zeros, 11.40. Now, when price was up here, I gave you guys a couple scenarios that could happen. So we're going to go over that, and then I'm going to give you guys new levels to be looking out for. We need to stay away from Dogecoin right now. I mean, not Dogecoin, Shiba Inu. We got to stay away from it because one, we don't want to get trapped. Two, you don't want to lose money, right? You want to buy because you want money to work for you, not to lose. And then I would say if you buy here and it's going down, it's going to take you longer to get in profit. So instead of buying on the right side of the curve, we could be buying on that left side of the curve so our money can work faster. So that's some things that we need to get away to. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new. Thank you guys for being here. If you are new, my name is Will. I give you guys key levels on the crypto market every day. So let's go ahead and get it straight to it and why we need to be staying away from Shiba Inu right now, okay? Now, we had a support level. Well, actually, let me take it to the beginning. So it was moving, right? It was up right here. So I'll give you guys a buying level, support level, and a resistance level. A couple scenarios to happen. Now, the scenario that happened was came down to the buying level here. And then once we had that buying pressure level, it was either going to show up, that was going to be a buy, or it was going to break down. And that was going to be to stay away from it. What happened? We had the breakdown. Now, I also give you guys two more things. When it got to that support level, it was either going to hold support and go higher or it was going to break down. It broke down more, right? So this is helping us kind of know what's going to happen on Shiba Inu before it happens so we don't lose money on it. That's why I try to give us the best guidance. Again, make sure you guys join the team. First thing in that description, if you want to get uh, access to the whole crypto section, my buys and sells, key levels on cryptos, my favorite cryptos to trade. And you can ask me on any crypto you want. Okay, so make sure you join. Prices go up in about eight to seven days. Actually, seven days, I believe. So new levels for shipping you. I'll move the levels first and then I will um, write them out. So support. And then buying level is done. No buying level right now. Okay, that means a lot. If there's no buying level, what does that mean? There's mean there's a lot of selling pressure on shipping you. Have to stay away from it, not looking to buy in these areas until we actually start to get some nice movements, right? Because right now we're like this, down, might come up like that, and we're down. We're down trending. Once we start getting that up movement, maybe we do this or something, we'll be up trending. This is what we want to be trading on, okay? So let's uh, change these. New resistance level. This, gonna, this will be a, our first initial sign. Is when price starts to break that resistance level. As long as we keep breaking supports, I will have to stay away from Shiba Inu. Okay, I'll only start trading it once we start breaking resistance levels. And then new support is about uh, oh, why is it not clicking? Ten here. So we have our support level and we have our resistance level now. New support is four zeros ten forty. New resistance is four zeros eleven fifty. Watch this support. Okay, it's going to come up from there. Hold. That would be good. Or it's going to break from here say it doesn't go down to the support you want to see if it breaks down there or does it stay above it and then if it stays above it what type of run do we have or does it pull back down and kind of get weaker so make sure you watch these things i'll try to update you guys i'll try to post more because i know I, I i leave like a lot of time between them like two days three days i'll try to be posting these about every day but that'll probably mean i'll be posting about four videos or so a day so as long as you guys are cool with that i'm cool with it so i'll start posting more videos on these giving you guys updates as these levels break but for now Make sure you watch this on Shiba Inu and make sure you watch these scenarios. Remember, we want to be on this side, not this side. And these are the key areas that we'll be looking out for, okay? So thank you guys for watching the video. Always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.